is the third floor, um, and we're going to hear about a student project to um, reimagine some of the spaces on the third floor. And one of the students has kindly agreed to come talk to us about um, their project. So I'm going to turn around and introduce you to Sydney Young, who is here to tell us about her um, vision of the Fine Arts Library of the Future. So, uh, Sydney, can you just give us a little, um, what your major is, and then a little bit about this project? Yeah, uh, so my name is Sydney Young. I am currently a senior in the interior design major here at Ohio University. Um, and essentially this project was to reimagine the Fine Arts Library of the future. Um, we just so happened to use our floor plan here at Ohio University. Um, it was really accessible and it was really nice because we were able to actually go in and look at the space and get a sense of the size. Um, but the overall design is meant to fit in any academic library anywhere. Okay. So um, what are the most important things that you put into your poster and your design? Like what should we take away? Um, so a lot of the like, research that I did in order to come up with the design um, was based on three main ideas, um, collaboration, connection, and engagement. Um, so I think each of those ideas are very important in an academic library and especially in a fine arts library. Um, for instance, like collaboration, if you're working on an art project, um, I feel like often we're told to like keep secret and like don't tell anyone what you're doing because it'll steal your idea but the idea of collaboration is so important because you can get so many new ideas the more people you're talking to the more ideas you're going to get and you can essentially just make your project endlessly better um, another important thing is connection um, so I feel like in a library specifically you really need connection um, not only to the space but to your resources um, and the things that you're able to get out of a library um, the last thing is engagement. So really being able to come into a space and engage in your work and engage in other people in conversation um, is very important um, in academia and art. So what would you want to see um, furniture-wise or like architectural detail-wise to kind of facilitate that kind of engagement, connection, and collaboration. I'm yeah, so... Swing over um, here to your poster so people can see. Yeah, so for the project, we had to highlight three main spaces. Um, I chose a group study room. Um, I chose this space because I feel like in almost any project that you have to work on, is at some point you're going to need to really focus down with your group um, and have time and space and media and technology and resources to make your project as best as it can be. Um, the second space that I focused in on that was really inspired by what people consider a maker space, um, I renamed to a collaborative art lab, or co-art lab for short. Um, and essentially this space would be similar to what you see on the second floor here at um, Alden, um, where you'd have glass windows on the outside, so people on the outside can see in, and then at the same time you'd have, um, like we call them hot desks, where you can come in and you can work on your project and someone else can come in and work on their project, but you're collaborating because you're seeing what they're doing and they're inspiring you through their work too. Um, it also have good um, things as such as like a, uh, a photo backdrop if you needed to come in and take a good professional picture. You'd have resources like uh, a 3D printer, there'd be a sink drawing utilities, anything that you'd really need to enhance your work. Um, and the last phase that I focused on that's been really controversial is <laughs> the inclusion of the information desk um, on the third floor, but I decided to include not one, but two. Two <laughs> information, information desks. desks, okay. In my design for the sole purpose of it being a connection point between okay. patrons and staff. Um, they could be student-led, um, but essentially it'd be a really good space for if you needed to rent a room or if you needed to rent materials, like if you need like, a drawing tablet or if you need a camera to just go and use in the maker space. Um, it'd also be like a really good resource point if you needed to just figure out how to do research mm -hmm. or if you wanted to set up a time to meet with a librarian or figure out who your librarian is or even just general, how do I use the library <laughs> questions. Um, um, so how do you see this being different from, like, uh, the space that already exists for students in a fine arts building? Like, how... Um, I feel like the space that I designed has a little bit better of a flow. Okay. Kind of, like, adding the second information desk, like, utilizes this second entry point to more of a collaborative side of the library. Because, um, like, I feel like the store kind of gets 
came into the library. From this side, you'd have direct information and kind of like pointers to where you need to go, like direct you to what area of the library is going to help you work best. Um, but yeah, I think just like the movement of this design and the accessibility of the spaces is a little bit better than we have currently set up. Okay. Um, and you had mentioned um, how this um, installment itself is kind of similar to some of the ideas you had about, um, I think you called it the crit space up here. Yeah. So what did you mean by... I feel like we have this, like, these boards with our posters pinned up right now. Um, and this is really cool. Um, I really like this, how we can display our own work here in the library and have other people come and view it. Um, but the crit space in my design is, like, specifically, like, the turning point in the library from where you kind of go to, like more individualized work into like the learning commons. So this space would essentially be like big board panels like this where you can have students and like classes come up and pin up their work and receive feedback on them and what people like about them and what they think could be better. Um, but when it's not being used for a class, I definitely think it could be used for anyone. So if you're working in the maker space and you make something and you're like, I just don't know about this, I don't know. You can go and you can pin it up, come back a couple days later, see if there's any comments about your work. See what people think about your work and it kind of just gives not only like more of like an art feel to the space that you're in, but it also really helps you academically. It's almost like an analog version of what we see social-wise, with that you can post things online and yeah, get feedback, sure. but it's still good to have an analog Definitely. option. Because um, it's like when you post something on social media, it's like, who is it getting to? Mm -hmm. Maybe just your friends, or maybe just your followers, or you post it in the library, it's anyone who passes by. Like, And if someone sees something and it's like, that's inspiring to me, Like, they can take that little bit of knowledge with them, just from that two-second interaction, and take it with them for the rest of the day. All right. Is there anything else we should know about your? Um, actually, I'm curious about this. Your material, like what, um, what kind of material design would you want to see in this space? Um, so particularly for mine, I picked a lot of more warmer colors, where, um, where like the more social spaces. Like I did include like a, a cafe specifically on the third floor. Um, so you never have too much coffee. <laughs> never. And then also more like in this information area, it'd be more of like a hardwood floor. Because um, it'd be more like lounge space, you have like a really nice chair, and you can add like contrast it with a hard surface. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe in the more like the spaces where you'd probably be spending like a lot of time working with groups or like working by yourself or like going through the stacks, um, they'd be like a softer carpet, kind of like what we have here, just like maybe a warmer color rather than. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I also picked these, uh, this very specific acoustic panel. Um, I really like the design of it, just like the lines, very modern, very clean, but also mm -hmm. adds like a good design aspect to it, which would be, you can kind of see it here in the group study rooms, where it would just help absorb sound, um, because they would be glass panels on the outside of these as well, okay. so gonna... something to help absorb your group talking in a less acoustical place. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, all right, anything else you want to tell us about your, your plans for the uh, ideal library space, fine arts library space? Um, I really hope, because like I know you guys are under your 10 year kind of like reconstruction, I kind of hope to see like more of these like concepts that I talked about, because like I researched these, like they're obviously very prominent, so I hope in my time here at Ohio University I can see them. I am definitely already seeing them, like especially with the reconstruction of like the second floor, mm -hmm. like those spaces turning like the writing center into a nice space like that. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, and especially like this cohort lab. I think the way like I re redesigned it instead of like, calling it the maker space, but having more open spaces like that mm -hmm. be accessible to people and not just like by classroom reservation sure. are very important. So. Yeah, I love that idea. So um, what's next for you? What kind of projects are you working on in the future um, this semester? So this semester we just got um, a nice program for a project funded by Steelcase. It's actually like the annual Steelcase design competition. If you don't know what Steelcase is, they're a furniture manufacturer in Michigan. Um, they actually did some of this furniture here, like this lounge furniture. They designed yeah. this. I'm pretty sure we have a fair number yeah. of those around, things like You've that around the library. The, yeah. the oh, the node, node chairs. Chair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. In room so. 323. Um, an open office space, which if you've ever worked in an office, you know they can be really not fun. Mm -hmm. So our goal is to make that the best space for a real estate company to work in. Nice. I bet that will be quite the challenge. I think it'll be fun. Tons of research involved. <laughs> yes. So. All right. All right. Well, thanks for um, sharing your ideas with yeah. us.